find the inverse of the given function, f of x equals x plus 3 cubed minus 1. And I'm going to pull my iPad away and work on paper now. I do want to just flip back up even though you may or may not have watched the first video that I did. Um, but the problem is still the same in terms of the steps. We want to rewrite f of x as y. We want to switch the x and y. We want to solve for y. Those are the steps that we are going to use to do this. So the first step, rewrite f of x as y. Second step, switch the x and the y. x goes where y went, y goes where x went, nothing else changes. Now we're to the point where what we want to do is we want to solve for y. So we're going to add 1 to both sides. And we get x plus 1 equals y plus 3 cubed. And again, our ultimate goal is to figure out uh, what does y equal. And right now y is attached to 3 and cubed. So the way that we get rid of cubed is we use the inverse operation, which is cube rooting. So I'm trying to write it well. I'm not doing very well. But there's a 3 in the checkmark part of the radical. We're taking the cube root of the right side of the equation, which consequently means that we're going to take the cube root of the left side of the equation. So now what we have is we have the cube root of x plus 1 over here on the other side cubed rooting and cubing cancel each other out. So we get y plus 3 and now we can separate those and solve for y to finish. We subtract 3 from both sides and we get the cubed root of x plus 1 minus 3 equals y but really in terms of the uh, format here this is the inverse in this symbol, f to the negative 1 of x is the inverse. But we can look back on here, and uh, it looks like it's the third option on that problem. Hmm? If I can mark it. 